Grand Rising loved ones, welcome back to another episode of Healing Wisdom with me, your favorite spiritual advisor, Empress Oracle. I hope everybody is doing well today. So today I want to, you know, put a wrinkle in you guys' brain about something that I, um, now I don't know if this is real. I never Googled it or anything. When I was a child, I came up with this, you know, from observation, from, from observing, <laughs> my brothers, my older brothers around me and other males. And you know, I've, I've always just been very wise. And here's what I came up with. And I like to call this, this is, I call this Peter Pan syndrome is what I diagnosed my brothers and a lot of guys that I have met throughout my life. I have diagnosed them with this here, Peter Pan syndrome that I'm going to break down to you guys exactly what that is okay because you may know some people who have peter pan syndrome hell you might have peter pan syndrome yourself you never know all i know is that i have always been the type who i can learn from other people's experiences i can learn from watching people and observing people and i can put my own you know hypothesis together on something and then go ahead and you know do further research and come up with a conclusion like yes it's this or no it's not you know, productive reasoning, you know? So Peter Pan syndrome to me is basically, what I find is that it is most common in men. I'm not saying that females don't suffer from Peter Pan syndrome because they do. I have met females as well who suffer from Peter Pan syndrome. But Peter Pan syndrome is basically just like, you know, you remember the Disney movie, Peter Pan? Okay, so Peter Pan, he made up a world or a place called Never Never Land where he never had to, you know, face reality. He never had to grow up. He was forever a child, forever happy, doing whatever he wanted to do. Peter Pan syndrome, what I find is it tends to happen with men where they get stuck mentally in the ages of between 19 to 25. And that tends to happen because that tends to be the best time of a male's life. Normally, that's the time where, you know, they've... they've reach puberty, you know, they found out who they are, they're discovering themselves, you know what I'm saying, their hormones is raging, they feeling themselves, they probably in school or doing some type of activity, they're having a good time dating, you know, really no cares, no worries. Okay, so some type of traumatic relationship during around that time or around that age, normally what I see, they go through some type of traumatic relationship, whether it's like a, a really, um, heartbreak, a really bad heartbreak, like their first true love or their first real relationship or something. And it causes them to choose to emotionally stop evolving. Okay. And then they end up stuck between those ages mentally of 19 to 25. Okay. Because the feelings that whatever happens, that is so traumatic to them. You know, everybody has heartbreak. Everybody has their first love. Everybody has, you know, that first heartbreak. Females, have a tendency to get over things like that and move forward in a more productive way quicker and easier than men. Men, you know, will sometimes hold on to it in a way to where they'll, you know, they may act out, become a player or something, or they may end up having Peter Pan syndrome, right? So once this, tra once this trauma happens to them, it's like, they're just like, fuck it, fuck it. You know, they, they take that heart, put it in that cement, you know, box, bury it, put it in the vault, turn the little lock, do the eye scan, okay? Put the hair in it, you know what I'm saying? It's okay, nobody get in that bitch, right? It's done, it's done. And after that, they just become, um, you know, narcissists, kind of. Not really narcissists, but they start acting more narcissistic because then they start, their level of care emotionally in relationships, it goes away and instead, they would project a more childish or carefree, you know, attitude, more nonchalant, playful attitude towards situations where they really need to take it seriously because that's a part of personal development and growth, healthy personal development and growth. That's a part of having healthy relationships with people. So it affects their interpersonal relationships without them even realizing it because then they always want to take a childlike approach to things and they don't want to, you know, really face the realities of certain stuff. So they choose to live in Never Never Land and never grow up. And they're always acting like they're between the ages of 19 to 25. They be 30, 35, 40, 45, and they're still stuck in that, you know? Now they can get out of it. 
but it's a choice. It is a choice. What I have seen is it's a choice. And what I have seen from guys who have Peter Pan syndrome, they normally, you know, Never Never Land is a very fun place. You know, it's almost as fun as Keisha Land. So I heard. <laughs> but yeah, they 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 be chilling though. They, they really be chilling. They be chilling. Right? Adulthood decisions or responsibilities and all those other things that, you know, females will be like, okay, let me um, heal my broken heart and move on. They'll be like, nah. Nah, I don't really need to worry about those things. You know, they prefer to really live live life like they're young, like they're forever, you know, a college frat guy in a way. And I mean, that can be fun for a while because everybody goes through that phase. Everybody goes through a phase where, you know, if you were to stay in it, then you would have Peter Pan syndrome. But you grow out of it. You evolve. You know, that's just like your early 20s. That's your college years. You know, that's the... The rock star phase, basically, because I had a rock star phase. However, when people have Peter Pan syndrome, they, they don't want to get out of that rock star phase. And that's where they get stuck. And that's how it becomes a syndrome. <clears throat> right? So they end up um, running from adult responsibilities. Yes, they, they may have children. They may become fathers along the way and stuff. But they never really have, like, the real responsibilities. You know, they're not as stable emotionally they're not as calm and settled as somebody who you know is more willing to accept certain responsibilities that come with the involvement of a relationship with somebody you feel me so they have a hard time coping due to immaturity or poor decision making because you know you have to grow up it's at some point, you can't be 35 doing the same things that you did when you're 19. You know, you have to make different decisions. The decisions that you make as a 19-year-old, you can't make at, at a, as a 35-year-old. And they have a hard time with that. So they still end up making those same decisions as far as intimate or personal relationships because they feel like it's easier and they won't get hurt or they don't want to experience that same trauma. So they have a tendency to, to you know, fumble it in that area. And... That holds them back emotionally, that holds them back mentally, and it stunts their growth. And a lot of times they don't realize it until they are older. You know, a lot of times with Peter Pan syndrome, what I see um, will shake people and it can help them to get out of it is once they realize that the rest of their friends and the people around them are growing out that phase... Okay, so say they get stuck in Peter Pan syndrome. Say, say they're 19 for like 20 years, right? In that 20 years, they notice all their friends are like, okay, after like year 10 and 12, some of their homeboys that they thought was going to rock with them and just be rock stars and free forever, they start settling down. You know what I'm saying? Everybody starts veering off away from them. And they're like, dang, what's going on? They, they, they still going to be delusional and denial for like a few more years after that though, while the rest of their friends are settling down and stuff. And a lot of times that is the time where they have that, like, maybe I should grow up as well, but they don't, but they don't. They'd be like, nah, I'm not ready. I'm too young. I'm too this. I'm too that. It's part of the syndrome. So they end up missing that window of opportunity and they end up being in Never Never Land by themselves, <laughs> by themselves. But they would rather live there because, you know, they say denial is a river in Africa, but it also runs through Never Never Land. They ain't tell you that part. <laughs> they ain't tell you that part. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome for that little tidbit. Okay. And it's quite similar to the actual movie because they just... They just, I like, I don't really remember the full details of the movie because I was a child when I watched it, but I remember the important parts that Peter Pan didn't want to grow the fuck up. Okay. All righty. And Tinkerbell kept trying to talk to him like, bruh, who do that? You know, at some point you have to, you have to. Now, a lot of people get stuck in this and it tends to be more noticeable in men because a lot of times, you know, as a female, you know, we get knocked up. <laughs> And we may have responsibilities to where we can't be in Never Never Land as much as, you know, Peter <laughs> or Paul or whoever. We can't do that. But it's very important, ladies and gentlemen, that you realize that growth 
is not just a physical thing. Growth is not just based on the material things that you accumulate throughout life and your endeavors. Growth is also a mind thing, okay? It, it involves your mind, it involves your emotions, your spirit, everything. All of that is a part of proper, healthy growth and maturity. And if you do not incorporate all of those things into your life, you will end up with Peter Pan syndrome, stuck, not wanting to grow up. And the world and everything else around you will progress and leave you. And you will end up feeling alone lonely because by the time you realize what you've done you'll be old nobody will want you anymore see what i'm saying you'll be so stuck in your ways that you will have inadvertently doomed yourself to being forever forever a bachelor forever single and a lot of times people say that they want that but when you get old and you have nobody there for you right you have no children to come care for you if you're sick or you need something, you have no family to support you with. All your friends, you don't even have those really because they have grown up and matured and they have lives and families. All the things that you deserve as well, they have all of that. And then you really realize like, damn, Never Neverland bought the clothes and I have nowhere to go. Don't get stuck because a lot of people, from what I have seen, from the men that I have seen that have Peter Pan syndrome, they have a lot of regrets, a lot of unspoken regrets that they keep on the inside and a lot of thoughts on decisions that they made while they were actively engaging in their Peter Pan syndrome, a lot of things that they lost opportunities that they missed because they didn't want to grow up. They end up beating themselves up and have a lot of woulda, coulda, shouldas and they end up bitter. Bitter and lonely with a heart of stone. Do you know how heavy that is? You know? And let me tell you something. I've been telling you guys, love is the greatest power of all. People with Peter Pan syndrome are denying themselves the greatest power of all. Willingly giving up their strength because they don't want to grow up. They don't want the responsibilities, the maturities. They're not willing to put their hearts out there. You don't put your heart out there for everyone. But you have to heal from broken hearts. You have to. Everybody goes through a broken heart. That is a part of everybody's spiritual journey in this life is to get their heart broken and how you heal from it. How you heal from it. Do you let it harden your heart or do you still show that love? That, that denotes the level of love you will receive in this lifetime. How much you will grow and how much abundance you will reap. Okay, because love is the root of it all. That's what we don't understand. And that's what the main thing that, you know, the white people, society, politics, and all that bullshit, that is the main thing that they try to veer all of us away from is love. Because with love comes power and strength, loyalty. They don't want that. So it's time for us to grow up, ladies and gentlemen. If you or anyone you know are suffering from Peter Pan syndrome, don't be afraid. It's never too late to change. Does that sound like a commercial? That's what, I was, that's what I was trying to do, okay? Yeah, it's never too late to change, all right? Don't get stuck in Never Never Land. We have to grow up. We have to grow up now. All of you fellas that's been in Never Never Land, we need you, kings. We need you, all right? It's a new world order. Heal, heal from whatever that traumatic incident was. Heal and grow the fuck up. That's for my brothers too, if you ever watch this video. I love y'all, but grow up. And don't forget to check out my boutique while you're at it, all right? Empress Oracle Spiritual Boutique. I have 
all types of crystal jewelries. I take custom orders as well. Go ahead, ground yourself. Get balanced. Get stabilized. Enhance your spiritual feng shui. Do that at www.empressoracle333.com for all of your spiritual and aesthetic needs. I also have baths, scrubs, incense, oils to aid you with your abundance and with that greatest power that we all need to enhance, which is love. So with that being said, you guys, be blessed. Enjoy the rest of your day, right? I love you guys.